I'm gonna be honest, guys, I'm a little embarrassed. Uh, a while back, I got a little too drunk at Kate's and may have invited someone from the bar onto the show. I don't remember a lot from that night, so bear with me. Please welcome Herbert. Andrew McVeigh! Oh, how's it going, buddy? Thanks for inviting me onto your fancy bisexual roleplay show. Oh, God. Um, no, this is the bi weekly show and role playing? Well, yeah, I saw these people dressed up in costumes and assumed something was going on, you know? That would be because it's, you know, Halloween. Really? Oh, that makes more sense. Anyways, how about that big night out the other night, huh, buddy? Oh, well, hopefully it wasn't too big because honestly I don't remember very much of it. Oh, wasn't there something with like a horse costume and a jar of peanut butter? Was there ever? <laughs> oh, trust me, we'll get there, dude. I still can't get over that time when you shotgunned that beer and immediately started making those primal noises at those freshmen. What? You don't remember that? No. Oh, dude, it was hilarious. Boy, you sure were mad about something. You are like, mm, uh, teleprompter, mm, today. Mm, mm. Okay, okay, we get the gist. Uh, I was really that drunk? Dude, you were gone. When I got to Kate's, you were guzzling those Tito shots. Personally, I had just chugged 15 beers on an empty stomach, so I was a teensy weens tipsy, but you were on another level. I mean, dude, you were saying some genuinely awful things, and it only got worse once we left the bar. I swear, you get one bush light in this guy and I just think it's funny how it becomes his middle name. Okay, can we like change the subject? Well anyways, once we started, once we left, we started heading down East Cleavage. But first, <laughs> we decided to shotgun a few brewskis. I couldn't finish mine because it reminded me of being waterboarded. But you slammed that shit, dude. For some reason, right after you got on all fours and started charging at a group of people, they were pretty freaked out. I kept telling them, he don't bite, but I guess I was wrong. Are you saying that I just bit a bunch of innocent bystanders? Yes. Why? I don't know, man. I think one of them had an Uncrustable in her pocket. You, you just kept telling me a brother is famished. So embarrassing. I don't remember any of this. You remember that one frat party we went to? No. Oh, well, good thing. It was terrible. It was Alpha Sigma Sigma, I think, ass or whatever. It was so lame. They had some DJ named Poop Dala, I think. You, you and I got bored, so we went in the kitchen, turned on all four burners on the stove, and then booked it. I committed arson? Hell yeah, dude! Jesus Christ. Well, after that, we headed back to my abode with the fellows. It was pretty chill. We drank a few beers, played some poker. Although, I don't think you understood the game. You just kept shouting, go fish. <laughs> then we put on a movie and chilled out with the squad. What movie did we watch? Dumbo does it donkey style. <laughs> we watched what now? Oh. Well, I don't expect you to remember that much. I mean, the whole time you were begging my roommate to let you hit his pen. Like an actual pen. The dude just wanted to do his homework. Okay, wait. How does the horse costume come into play? Because I'm pretty sure I remember something with a horse. Oh, uh, yeah. On our way back, we got flagged down by these two jolly good fellows in a horse costume. You know, one was the top half, one was the bottom. They were asking us for donations, I think. But then one of them bashed in one of your kneecaps. I think we were mugged, actually. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well that actually explains a lot. Um, so how did this night end? Well, for you, I'm not sure. I mean, I went to bed not long after the movie, but you seem to still have plenty of energy after you got kicked out. Yeah, now that you mention it, I did wake up in a dumpster behind Applebee's the next morning. Wait, did you say I was kicked out? <laughs> yeah, you made this really offensive joke to one of my roommates and they were pretty upset by it. You were all like, I just oh, think okay. it's- okay, that's actually all the time we have for Herbert. Don't we have like a minute left? No, no, thank you so much for coming onto the show. I am never drinking alcohol again. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>